all fours and a nice easy down dog so knees under hips hands under shoulders good morning gina spread those fingers good morning john we're going straight to down dog this morning so when you're ready just bring those hips up towards where the ceiling and the wall meet and keep your knees bent and then maybe walk your feet out to the edges of the mat so nice and wide feet bent knees and just move your body right and left wake up your side body your shoulders just transferring the weight right and left Keep thinking chest to thighs, sits bones to the sky. And then pedal out your feet, come to the center and walk your feet. Nice wide position makes it a little bit more available in the morning. Think about that nice long back all the way up to the ceiling. And then bring the feet back to parallel. And then you're gonna very gently walk your feet to your hands. So just stroll to the front of your mat. Beautiful, bend those knees deeply. Hold your head. And then just come up to a half lift. If you'd like to do your half lift and you have your blocks, grab your blocks and come up to your, your half lift. Try to straighten the back of your legs. Look to the front of your mat and have a nice long back and then gently fold. Bend your knees, relax fully. Arms out to the side and let's go up to a standing position, nice and slow. And then my head will disappear. Send your arms up and then swan dive down. Bend your knees. Fold it all the way down. Maybe reach around for the back of your juicy calves. Nice deep fold. If you have blocks, move them out of the way. Take your hands under your shoulders, walk back to a plank. Drop your knees to the mat. And then come down slowly to Cobra. You're gonna bend your elbows, slowly descend and then push the tops of your feet down. Maybe lift the kneecaps up and maybe lift the chest. Just for a few seconds here, nice, easy little back stretch. Sphinx pose if this bothers you or in pinch, pinches your back anywhere. And then push all the way back to child's pose. Straighten the arms, take the knees out and sit back. Just drape. Hands are straight out in front of you. And come back to your quadruped, bring your knees in and let's go back to a down dog. Parallel feet down dog this time. And walk it out. Maybe feel the difference from down dog one to this one, number two. No, you can always take your feet out wider. Beautiful, and slowly walk to your hands. Nice little stroll. Fold it down, take your blocks if you'd like and give me your half lift. Straighten, look forward. I actually like the blocks, even though I have the flexibility to have hands on floor or shins, the blocks kind of give you an anchoring to bring that heart forward. And then soften your knees, fold. Blocks out of the way, arms to the side, let's rise. And swan dive, bend your knees, take it down and come back to your plank. knees down and when you're ready slow descent with your chest so your arms are under your shoulders just bend until you come all the way down 
And again, feet flat, hips down, and maybe float the chest off the floor. Give me another few breaths here. Remember to relax your neck and pull your shoulders back. And let's go back to child's pose. Straighten your arms, push back. Breathe. And back to down dog, float back to tabletop, curl the toes under and lift. And pedal. Maybe keep one heel down for a little bit longer. Feel the stretch in the back of that leg. And other side. Getting a little deeper into the back of those legs. And then bend both your knees, walk to the front of your mat. Fold it down fully when you're there. Come up to your half lift box, shins, wherever you'd like. If you can pull your shoulders back and squeeze your shoulder blades together in this position. Nice flat back, nice stretch in the back of the legs, fold, arms out, up and around. Beautiful. And bring your hands to prayer. You're going to bring the feet together. A little space between your heels. The so balls of your feet together. Your heels are a little half an inch apart. And you're going to sit back into your chair squat. Now look down. Make sure you can see your toes. You want to make sure your knees aren't going past them. And you're bringing the hips to the back of the mat. Try to firm up your arm muscles next to your head and breathe for four, three, quad work here, two, and fold forward. Beautiful. And walk back to your plank. And when you're ready, knees down, release your feet, chest down. Cobra. Or sphinx if your back's bothering you. And back to child. And down dog. Lift it up. Pedal it out. And walk forward. Fold it down, come to your half lift. Hands on shins, push your hamstrings back. Retract your shoulders, squeeze them together on your back. And bend and fold, and out to the side. We're gonna do chair pose again, but rise first. Hands to heart, bring your feet together, but you've got a little space between your heels and chair pose. Squeeze those legs together, look down, make sure you can see those lovely toenails. And you sit one or two inches lower, tuck your tailbone forward, pull your lower belly in. For four, three, ooh, spicy legs today, two, and fold, ha. And come back to your plank. Now maybe do an up dog this time. Drop your knees and then just straighten your arms here. And again, if that's not for you, you do cobra, you do sphinx. Feel like your chest is coming all the way to the front of the mat in whichever expression you're at here. And breathe for three, two, and child's pose. I don't know what happened. You were here, then you weren't here. Don't worry, you can do the recording later. Let's go to down dog. Right leg up. Parallel leg. So try not to open the hips or knee and then just float through to a plank. 
and hold the leg hovering off the floor. And then back to your three-legged, but keep the leg parallel. Two more times. One-legged plank. And again. One more time, bring it through. Knee to chest. And bring that leg and put it down, right between the hands. Low lunge, back knee down. Relax your toes, float yourself up. Beautiful, rest your arm on your leg and give me a side bend. You're bending over towards the knee side. Ooh, nice stretch there. Try to breathe into those waistlines. And then upright your arm, bring your foot out to the corner more and hands in between. And we're looking towards this knee. Maybe open your knee to the side, open your chest to the side. If you would like more, float your back leg off the floor, heel towards your seat. And again, no need to catch the foot unless it's super available to you, but you can certainly look back at your foot and say good morning to it back there. Keep opening the chest. Beautiful. And then bring that hand in between the legs one more time. Bring your foot back into parallel. Lift up to runner's lunge, and then you're gonna bring this back leg in as far as you need to for your triangle. So bring it in and then lower the foot down. So both feet are on the floor. Make sure you're not on a tight rope so you have balance, hip distance feet. Your back foot can be turned out to uh, 45 degrees and just square your hips off. So usually one hip is trying to jut in front of the other. Pull the one that's coming forward, pull it back and breathe. Check you're not locked out in your kneecap. You wanna have a softness behind the front knee and then walk your back foot to meet your front one. Hold and half lift. Fold and up and out to the side. Let's meet up standing. Beautiful. And chair pose. Bring the feet together. Heels have a little space. Maybe float the arms out to aeroplanes. Does that change anything? Can you tuck your tailbone forward, lengthen that lower back? Can you bring the arms back and sink a little lower? Squeeze your arm bones really strong there, back there. And then hands down, let's go back to plank. And down dog, lift it up. We do all that on the other side. Left leg up, parallel to the floor. Be your toes face down, float your way to plank, hover the leg. Nice and strong. Three more times, take it back. Two more times. And last one. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Bring the knee into the chest and plant that foot down between your hands and lower your back knee. Beautiful. And we rise. Lovely. Rest your hands, stretch it over. If you have your block and you'd like to put your fingers on the block, you can also do that. Just get this lovely opening here. One more beautiful breath into that side body. And then 
then gently make your way in between the feet foot and bring that foot out to the corner, lizard pose. And let's rotate and look at that knee and open it up. Back toes lift if you'd like. And just stay on that side, looking back at your foot. Keep thinking chest to the sky. Beautiful. Slowly make your way down with your hand in between the feet. Bring that foot and come back to parallel. Wiggle it back in. Lift up to runner's lunge. And then again, as much as you need to step forward and straighten the legs, you're in your triangle pose. Front foot to the front of the mat, back foot 45 degrees. Square off those hips for me. And again, if you have the blocks, you can bring up here. And even have your blocks on the high side. Just work on that nice stretch. Blocks are your friends here. They don't make the poses easier, just more accessible. And then soften your knees, bring your back foot in a few times if you need to, to meet the front one and fold it down and half lift. And fold. Beautiful. And come back to your plank. I'm gonna hold plank for about 15 seconds. Spread your fingers. Pull your belly in. Squeeze your seat under. Push your heels back and go for four, three, two. We're going for a yogi squat in one. Right foot to the outside of the right mat. Left foot to the outside. And if you'd like, take your block and sit on it. Beautiful. And if that's still too much, you could be higher. So we're working that root chakra. Take that tailbone and try to squeeze it underneath your back and lift your heart a little prouder. And then try not to clench and resist this position. I know it's hard. Let's breathe. For four, three, Two, hands down, straighten those legs. Oh, we'll bring those feet forward. Take your hips right and left. Beautiful. And however you'd like to gracefully come down to seated, maybe cross one leg behind the other and sit down and come onto your backs. Beautiful. Take your legs hip width, feet under your heels, arms out to a T, and then just drop them to the right. No need to stack them yet. Keep thinking both shoulders on the mat. Maybe take your arms to goalpost if you'd like to try that expression. If you have tight pecs, the chest isn't open much. This is a nice one with the goalpost. And then gently go to maybe stack the legs, one knee on top of the other. And if that means your knees have to lift up, that's okay. And you can also put a block under your knees if you'd like.
you'd like to take a hand on top of the thigh, come a little closer with your knees to your chest and get a little deeper twist here. And then final option, look over your opposite hand and maybe take that hand to a diagonal reach. Do the diagonal arm reach, you're getting into the lymph nodes right around your armpit, which is a really good lymphatic system immunity boosting little move there. So really walk those fingers to that left corner. Make space as far as you can on that side body. And then gently bring everything back to the midline, nice and slow. Bring your hips back in, knees over hips, hip width feet. And let's take the knees separate over to the left side. And again, anything you'd like with your arms, you can also stretch them all the way to the back. Whatever feels good for you right now. Thinking, anchoring shoulders to the mat. Let gravity have you. And then bring your arms out to your T-shape. Maybe stack your knees. Option to take your hand on top of your thigh. And now let's go for that diagonal reach with the right hand. Keep walking the fingers to that corner in the back. Big breaths into that side body. Make your way slowly back in the center. You've got one more twist to do, which I'll give you options. Bring your legs back, bring your arms back. Come back to parallel. Drape your legs over to the right side again. And if you have a happy back, take your bottom foot on top of your top thigh. And your option with your arms here, anything you'd like. our way into this position but if this does not feel pleasant for you go back to one of the first ones we did find your breath and give me a four second box breath in for four Hold for four, out for four, hold for four. You're on your own. In. When you've finished your round, unwind, come back to the center and we'll do that on the other side. Unwind carefully. Come on back. Set yourself up square again and drop your legs over to the left and that top leg rests with the bottom leg on top. Any arm expression, I'm taking the diagonal reach as you do you. Find that box breath for me. In for four. Hold. Out. 
fold and unwind carefully, come back to the center. Beautiful, just windshield wipe for your legs now, nice and easy, nice and separate. Back should feel lovely. Keep working on that mobility, that flexibility in the spine. And then when you're ready, come in with your knees to your chest. Hug your right knee in so tight and send your left leg all the way to the end of the mat and down. Take your left arm and stretch it all the way away from your left leg. See how much length and stretch you can give me on that left side, hugging in the right knee tight. And then bring your left leg in, knee to the ceiling, foot to the floor, and stretch your right leg for your hamstring stretch. You can reach around behind your hamstring, feel it getting a stretch, interlace your fingers, and try to resist your leg into your hands. Flex your foot to the sky and just feel that stretch. And yes, if you have a strap, feel free to always use the prop. And let's work on that box breath again. Four seconds in. Hold. Out. Hold. And gently release that side. Beautiful. Left knee in for a hug. Nice and tight to the body, right leg out nice and long, like you're stamping your foot to the front wall, right arm behind you. Stretch, 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 hug, hug, hug. And then when you're ready, bring that left foot in and straighten your, your um, other leg. Again, with or without your strap, take your hands if you're not using a strap, resist your hamstring into the cradling hands, reach the foot up. Keep thinking heel up, toes down to the nose. And one round of box breath and we will be in our Shavasana in. Hold, out, hold, and release. And comfortable Shavasana for you. So that can be soles of your feet together, blocks on either side. You can take the blocks and rest your calves on them. Which feels super nice, even though it's super simple. And at least 10 breaths for me or longer. I'll stay with you for the 10 breaths.
don't you move if you have more time i'm going to leave this playlist on for another few minutes give yourself the gift of these few minutes and i'll see you back on the mat when you're ready namaste